guys, me like Big Boom here, bring you guys another Ma Day. Now, I missed last week's Ma Day, and the reason behind that is because I literally ran out of mods to showcase, or at least good mods to showcase for Ma Day. So, um, last week's Ma Day didn't exist because I kind of ran out of mods to, uh, to showcase. And so when today came around, I decided to check unturned mods or mods.unturned or mods-unturned, some mod unturned mod website that I just found when I was Googling stuff. And I found all sorts of awesome community content that people added for unturned 3.0. And I was like, wow, dude, I, that means I can continue doing mod day for quite a while. So here I am in the level editor showing you guys this new mod that I thought was the coolest of the bunch that I found. There are tons of awesome mods on this website that I found and it will be in the description down below if you guys want to check it out. But one mod that stood out to me the most was a super cool mod that you can use in the level editor to add some more depth into your world and it is the unturned light pack and it adds all sorts of different lights that you can put and apply to like the street lights like here or like the um what else the uh the street lights i mean i mean it's literally what you are able to place down is like a module that creates light and so when you apply it to like things like the street lights or onto the places inside the houses at nighttime it makes it look awesome like super realistic and almost super scary like going into the towns and there's just like that one spotlight of on top of a zombie or something and it it really makes it a bit eerie um, at nighttime and it also adds some extra strategy because if there are snipers up on a hill you don't necessarily just want to run in naked into a town because you'll stand out like a sore thumb so you gotta stay in the darkness and kind of be an assassin so I am in the level editor right now editing the dev test map um, a lot of you guys are probably like, whoa, how did you get access to the dev test map? Because that is locked and you can't edit it. Um, I will post a tutorial video on how you can get access to editing the dev test map. Um, I might upload it tomorrow maybe, I don't know. But the, de the dev test map is editable and um, it does take a little bit of some magic to get it to work. But I decided to have something to put lights on because my own maps that I've made are terrible and I didn't have the time to make a city so that I can put lights on the street lamps and stuff. So I got access to the dev test map and we are going to show you what the light uh, mod has to offer. So um, basically all it does is it just adds a bunch of lights in the small category. Now look at all these different lights. I mean, there definitely could be some organization to this. I mean, right now they're all uh, super cluttered and stuff, but it adds all sorts of different lights. Now, in order to add to the experience, I'm going to make it nighttime because it'll make the lights stand out better. So now it is nighttime. So this is going to be our before picture. I'm, I mean, imagine like those blue dots aren't there, but that's what it's going to look like uh, before. And then um, I'm going to go to a street light and show you what it's like when you add like a blinking red light onto the street lamps because you know when the power is out the the street lamps around town will blink red as a way to make the intersection still work so uh, what do we got uh, looking for flickering red light or alarm light uh, small let's see what that looks like so put that there all right we're gonna need a bigger one than that like that there we go so now it looks like the red light is blinking on that intersection so we can place it on another one of it so like there drag it forward there we go just like that blinking red lights super cool and um, so if we want to have a blinking street light because it's just about to run out of energy and it's starting to blink and make it look all creepy we can go to flickering light and add a flickering light right there drag it down a little bit and look at that isn't that cool like that's creepy that really does like imagine you're sitting right here and you look into the town and you see the flickering light and there's a zombie below it or something. I think that would be super cool. So I'm going to go around and I'm going to add a, like a ton of lights to all sorts of different areas around the town. And then I will be back to show you what a town can look like when you bedazzle it with a bunch of lights. Alright, so I went around and added some lights inside and outside some of the buildings. Like I've added flickering lights on some of the street lights. And some of them are left staying on. Within the grocer, I have some lights in here and some flickering lights around. 
and uh, the fire station and some other buildings have their signs lit up up on the front. This one's flickering. Also what came in the light pack were these cool little um, long, like, uh, and I'm, I don't know what the specific name of them are, but you know, the long lights. They're really long tube lights. The light pack comes with those, and I added some in the pharmacy in here, and it kind of makes it look pretty cool, makes it look like an actual pharmacy. And I think just the lights make nighttime so much cooler. I mean, just like, if you look at this, and I really wish I could, like, find a way to get rid of all these nodes, or, or these little blue things that are popping up. Tweet. There we go. All right. Um, oops. Uh oh Now I just created one of them. Whatever. All right. So, I'll just get out of the objects. Like, the nighttime, I think, just looks so much better when you have the lights like this. I mean, it makes this gas station look so barren and empty and isolated and apocalyptic. And, um, like the Big J Eco Fuel, like slightly lighting up every once in a while, and just the lights um, are blinking red, you know, like when there's a disaster and stuff like that. Oops, I forgot to put a red light on that. But um, I'm going to go into single player and show what the world looks like from that perspective. So I will go do that. So one issue that this light mod um, has is that the lights don't turn off during the daytime. So if I were to go over into the gas station during the daytime, you can see that the lights are still flickering and some of them are still on. So like right here, you can see that the street light is still on, which of course doesn't happen in real life. But So like the flickering lights are still there and it kind of does look a bit obnoxious. But I think it would be good for a map that's like nighttime only or something. I think it would add to that experience. And like over here I have the circuit board that's blinking as if there's like electricity that's zapping or whatever. And then there's lights over the gas station. And when it turns nighttime, it just looks so cool. Now one thing that you're probably thinking is like, hey, it's an apocalypse. Light and energy and all that jazz isn't available in the apocalypse. I mean, no one's running the power plant, so how is the electricity running through? Well, you know what? It's a video game, okay? So, you know, I think it looks pretty cool when you got all this flickering lights and stuff and making it look all fancy. Um, I'm going to go in and find a way to make it nighttime in the map, and I will be back. Alright, so I just made it to where nighttime is every time. So, um, now when we go into it and play it, it should be nighttime. Yay, it's nighttime. Alright, so now, look at how, like, scary and eerie it is. Like... Oh, you got the big moonlight, and you know, it, you're also able to see, which is one major thing. I hate nighttime and unturned because I can't see anything. But with these lights, you're able to go around in the town and actually do stuff, which is super nice. And then also, if you're playing on a PvP server, there's a strategy aspect to it. You, I mean, obviously you aren't going to run in here because then a person up on the hills will be like, Hey, there's a guy lit up like a firefly in the middle of the night you'll stick out like a sore thumb so if you really want to be able to loot a town with strategy you should stay in the darkness so like if you want to loot this mechanic shop you wouldn't go in the spotlight and stuff like that you'd sneak your way around here and then uh, get all the stuff in here and then if you want to go over to the gas station you would stay away from the light so you'd go like over here run through here and just make sure that you don't get shown up in the light and I think that's a, a cool strategy that can be done if you have these lights in it. Anyway so that's what the dev test map looks like when you have the light mod uh, applied to all the different street lights and all that jazz. There's whole loads of potential with what you could do with this. I personally think it's awesome. You guys should comment your guys' thoughts down below if you guys like it, if you guys think it's like too unrealistic, or if it's too overboard with all the lights. Comment your uh, ideas on it. But anyway, that is the light effect mod pack. The link to download it will be in the description down below, and also the tutorial on how to apply it into your world, or I guess your level editor, is also in the same link. So make sure to check that out and download it and apply it to your own saves. Also, I plan on eventually doing a map showcase, so if you make something cool out of the mods that I show on mod day, or just an awesome map in general, make sure to like send me a personal message or something of your map and I'll make sure to add it to my list of maps to showcase when I decide to make that series go live. But anyway, that is all I have for now for this mod day. I will be back next Monday with another mod to showcase for you guys, but other than that, that is all I have for now. Make sure to rate, comment, subscribe, and do all that gibberish because me like Big Boom is out. Thank you.